day 8 life in the spirit grace we ask for the grace that a love for god and humanity be manifested in action than by words through the gifts of the holy spirit sacred text a reading from the holy gospel according to saint john chapter 20 verses 19 to 23 when it was evening on that day the first day of the week and the doors of the house where the disciples had met were locked for fear of the Jews Jesus came and stood among them and said Peace be with you After he said this he showed them his hands and his side Then the disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord Jesus said to them again Peace be with you as the father has sent me so i send you when he had said this he breathed on them and said to them receive the holy spirit if you forgive the sins of any they are forgiven them if you retain the sins of any they are retained reflection life in the spirit means letting oneself be guided by the spirit it is not about seeking one's own will but the will of the divine in the stillness of one's heart the lockdown period is a timely gift from god to experience this stillness being still gives us peace of heart for inner peace is the prerequisite for receiving the holy spirit from the risen lord the gifts of the spirit that we have received must be manifested through our actions and through a profound feeling of gratitude towards the one who bestows them to us stay home stay safe is the mantra but how many have a home in our country today providing shelter to the homeless protecting the elderly and the infants from getting infected would be the signs of our spirit filled lives our actions that spread love hope and faith connect us to one another life in the spirit is a hyphenated phrase it is not fragmented it connects us to god to neighbors and to the mother earth the corona crisis has brought the humanity together it isn't religion versus corona but it is humanity versus corona be it to the mountains deserts beaches countryside or to the homeless migrants let us be led by the spirit and cling on to our lifeline god for where the spirit of the lord is present there is freedom therefore let us ask ourselves where the spirit of god is leading us through this period of lockdown 
Lord, walk with me during this day of my retreat.